Hello there, my name is Martin and if you are new here on this channel I usually do Photoshop tutorials on the subject related to retouching and I've done quite a lot of this recently so today I thought I will do something a little bit different and I will try to retouch beauty image in 15 minutes. Often there is a question how long it takes to retouch beauty image does it take one hour, two hours or five hours and I can't give you the answer I can tell you Probably on average, it takes me up to one hour to retouch beauty image, but I decided it's fun to see how much I can do in 15 minutes. And to compare, in some near future, I will do another video where I will give myself more time, maybe half an hour and see if I can actually do perfect job in 30 minutes. But today I'm going to try my best and do as much as I can within 15 minutes. If you want to learn retouching, I want to invite you to my retouching page, actually to my educational page, retouchingninja.com, where you can find my premium courses, uh, of course, with resources like images and actions, so you can practice from start to finish on high quality videos. So now let's go back. I'm going to use my phone with the timer so I can make sure I will not cheat and I will stop this at 15 minutes. So now start, the time is going. I'm going to put my phone in the visible place and I will stop at around 15 minutes of time. So now I'm going to speed up this video and start. So 
here I'm showing the time. At the end, I got a little bit confused. As you can see, just past 15 minutes. I did few mistakes that uh, made me to go back. So I believe it was a little bit of the waste of time in a few moments. But overall, till this point, I think it was going quite well. So uh, this is the result. And now I can stop the timer. I believe I did uh, not bad. I actually don't think I needed that much of a time. Of course, if I wouldn't be rushing, I think I would probably touch and burn for five minutes more just to make sure everything is good, cleaned up a little bit more around the hair area. So to give you breakdown, I believe I cleaned up for around four minutes. Then I started to do touch and burn. And I did this till around minute 12, 30. But then you could see I wanted to do final uh, touch-ups already. And I realized this spot here that was distracting. And I think it wasted me one minute. So that was quite a crucial minute. But this is the result. And at the end, of course, I did mistake because of rushing. I applied two camera filters. So instead of applying two camera filters, of course, I can do it all on one. And this is the final result. So let's uh, have a look. This is edit. This is before. And this is after. I even managed to do something with the colors. I used my own color profiles to speed up the process to give it a little bit more of the film look. So the tones are a little bit more yellowish, like it would be from the Kodak films, for example, from the film negatives. But overall, you can have a look. This is before and this is after. Quite big change. I added some noise at the very end. Not specific noise, just wanted to rush. And I think this is pretty good result. And uh, actually, this image easily could end up in some beauty editorial uh, with quite natural look, not heavy handed retouch. So I think 15 minutes sometimes could be enough to finish retouching beauty image, especially when it's uh, for the story, for the magazine, and you don't want to have a very heavy retouch, but rather something more natural. What I would do if I would have more time, probably fix this um, eyebrow over here and uh, probably polish the noise, the grain, the final grain a little bit more, which I could do probably even now at some uh, larger size of the grain. Just something like this. But overall, and uh, this is it. This is final result. I hope you like this video. And if you want me to do more, some sort of retouching challenges, I'm open for this. So leave the opinion in the comment and see you in the future.